Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day on the mountain. All right, so a little solar panel project today. Currently, we're running just these two solar panels right here, and I want to hook up to these other two panels. Um, the current configuration, our charge controller couldn't handle all four panels. It barely handled three panels stupid bees and so it's currently just running on the two so what we need to do is connect these two panels together in series these two panels together in series and then parallel them together to run them inside I think I might have it figured out but I'm not sure there's something in there that's just not adding up yet but let's see what we got going so Right here, these two are connected in series. Those two down there are connected in series. So I need to disconnect the wires on those, and those will be the wires going back into the cabin once we get more wires cut to put into my makeshift combiner box until we can start working on the regular setup, if that makes any sense. We have a real combiner box for the real system. So this one has no protection, no circuit breakers, no ground fault interruption or any of that kind of stuff. It's just very, very basic to get us going. And the main reason we want to do this is to see if we can run our freezer on just the panels during the heat of the day and still charge our batteries. So once we get all this hooked up, we will be looking at that. So I need to disconnect those two cables and we need to cut some new ones. Okay, so those are disconnected. Gorgeous day today. We got some heat coming on. I know people in the South don't say anything. You guys already have your heat, but we're supposed to get up to like 90 degrees this week. <laughs> uh, I know, that's horrible, isn't it? Okay, we need to make one, two, three, four cables. So what is that, positive or negative? Is that a negative? Oof. positive so the male is positive female is negative where did I see that on there positive negative right there okay let's grab some cable so I'm gonna do this in sections here's the combiner box I made uh, we just bought a regular box from home store and then I just mounted two uh, grounding thingy me juggers in there for the or, or bus grounding bus bars or whatever for the for the doodads to come in so yep so we'll come in connect and then over here we'll have two wires hooked up on the way out if that makes any sense we got our cables made. Our hokey combiner box. Got my red tape so I can mark everything. So we will mark this. Should just use some shrink tubing. When I do the real setup, I will use shrink tubing. Okay, so that's a positive. That will go in here. So 
that's a positive. I think the other one down there is going to be a negative. I need these. So now we need this guy. And I hope these are marked properly. Not marked at all. So let's see if we can figure out which is negative and which is positive. Because I think I marked it in the box. So everybody that's concerned about cable being exposed and stuff, it's direct burial. So it's okay if it's exposed. I don't know how long these freaking things are. Okay, did I mark it? No. I could have swore I marked it. Well, that wasn't too smart, was it? So I got a conundrum. So let's just take whatever the mail is, and we'll make that one whatever it is hooked up to be. Okay. So that's a male, and that's positive. So let's cut this male off. Strip it. See what happens. You ready? We're not arcing anywhere. So that's a plus. Okay, so that is hot. We got ferrule ends on all of them. And we are connecting up the breakers. They don't make these things easy. So this one goes to the right. This one goes to the left. measure that son of a beef all right start over
Honestly, I think I'm ready to cut power to the house, rip all this stuff out, and transfer everything else over. Well, should we shut it down? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm scared. We need to get this secure. Secure. We can shut this one up for now. Let me do that. So this one here won't go live until we get the rest of the solar panels hooked up. And the new batteries. Looks like we're good to go. Rinker, you want to get your computer set up for the generator? Get the extension cord out there because I need to shut everything off. First, we'll put this over here. She's got power. Shut the breaker off. We'll shut the solar panels off. And let's begin tearing it apart. All right, so we'll begin by pulling the fuse out. We need to disconnect the charge controller. We done do our spaghetti mess here. Rinker? Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you got going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> you like my mess? <laughs> so, anyway. Sorry, guys. I ran out of battery and I had to get this done. So, I'm buttoning it up. Right now, I'm putting the last screw in. And, which one is it? And then we can start turning stuff on. And pray to God we don't freaking blow up. <laughs> now don't do as I do do as I say make sure your system is grounded before you turn anything on ours is not okay, I'm going to start with uh, turning the solar panels on I'm not sure which one it is that's bad solar panels won't even turn on why won't oh you just had it on. This will light up. I can't remember which switch it is. Do I need to turn this on? Nah, we got to turn that on. Okay, yeah. so we had to turn the main breaker to this on. So we're not getting any anything in. It's saying the battery is over, so let's go in and change the battery. We'll just change, oops, crap. We'll just change that to 26 right now. Okay, so we'll enter that and then we'll wait. Okay, so we got 2.4 amps coming in, 292 watts, 63 volts coming in. Okay, come over here. I'm gonna show you how another way we can check to make sure the batteries are charging. Come over here. Okay, so our batteries, according to this, are sitting at 26.7 volts. We have point or 8.1, 8 volt or 8 amps coming into the system. This shows 100% charge, but I need to set this up again. To match the new charge controllers. To match the new setup. Does that make sense? I need to fix that to match the new setup. So anyway, let's go back in here. So as I mentioned, earlier we're only going to be using this charge controller right now this charge controller goes over to this box we have a breaker here to turn that charge controller on and off we got our negative battery 
coming up to the shunt and going from the shunt to the inverter. And then the power from the battery is this one here. Coming up to the circuit breaker, going up to the inverter. going up to the inverter. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to close my eyes because I'm afraid. Nothing blew up. The remote is booting up. And that's just going to stay up there for right now. So, inverter looks like it's off. Can you hear that? Yeah. Can you guys hear it ticking? I'm not supposed to, I'm not sure if it's supposed to tick or not. That kind of scares me. Okay, so then this cable here goes up over to our box. This is the last one to flip on. We got power. That light's on. We have power in here. Yes. So a couple of things I didn't do. Actually, only one thing. So for right now, I direct wired the refrigerator to the battery just because it had been off for so long. I want to get it running. So later on, I will hook up the circuit breaker in here for the refrigerator. I'm not gonna worry about this one yet because when we turn this main on, then the second breaker is what will charge the batteries. So I'm gonna get everything set up, get the battery perimeters on, the charge controller and the battery monitor out there. I'm gonna get all that set up first and figure out how to use this. And we will go from there, but so far everything is good. So if anybody's watching, by the time this video gets out, if I haven't got to it yet, I need some serious help with the grounding because we got one, two, three, four, five, six components that need to be grounded. I have read somewhere that the, the DC distribution box and the inverter can be grounded together and then the ground wire ran outside. Or is it better to ground everything individually and have six wires running outside? If anybody knows that, please, please tell me and let me know. I'm not sure if I'll get to it. But I'm going to be talking to our solar company and asking them the same question. Oh, you guys, thanks for joining us on this journey. <laughs> uh, this has been quite the chore. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, when it's all buttoned up, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll circle back. <laughs> and sure you it all cleaned up. But anyway, it's so much cleaner the way it is now. Bye, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, wait, wait. Live life your way.